I thought peace was something I could never have. After everything I've done, everything I've taken, it seemed impossible. But somehow, for a while, I found it. But peace is fragile. It's built on things you can't control. And today, it's about to crumble, piece by piece. There's something in the way a person stands when they've come to kill you. I've seen it more times than I can count. And I felt it before I ever saw her face. I didn't know who she was, but the way she moved, it was like watching a reflection of myself, years ago, full of rage and purpose. She was good, too good. I've fought harder, faster, and meaner enemies, but I've never fought someone who felt like they knew me, down to every scar and weakness. In that moment, I knew. She wasn't just here to kill me. She was here for something deeper, vengeance. Then it hit me, like a blade in the gut, Benita's daughter. The past never stays buried, no matter how deep you hide it. And here she was, looking to bury me with it. But something stopped her. The rage in her eyes didn't disappear. It burned even hotter. And yet she didn't strike. I expected her to kill me. But she left me breathing, barely. She didn't spare me out of mercy. No, there was something else. Something that kept her from finishing what she came for. I was alive, but not out of danger. I didn't understand it then, but there was a bigger game being played. Someone else pulling the strings. And whatever it was, it was far from over. She didn't kill me. Maybe she should have. But something stopped her. Something I can't quite understand yet. Sophie Fatal, the one who survived the massacre I left behind. She took Nikia in, trained her, and gave her a purpose. But Sophie's reasons went beyond revenge. Nikia learned from the best, the very same people who trained me. But Sophie wasn't just teaching her to fight. She was grooming her for something else. The first time you kill, something inside you changes. You think it will fill the void, bring peace. But it only leaves you emptier. Nikia was learning that same hard lesson. Nikia was on a mission. A mission to find anyone who once stood by my side and destroy them. She thought killing them would get her closer to me. Closer to vengeance. Shiro Ishii. He trained me in the art of the sword. I left him behind when I chose my path. Now he was in Nikia's sights. Shiro was a good man. He tried to make her see sense. But rage makes you deaf to reason. She could have killed him. Just like she could have killed me. But she didn't. And every time she spared a life... She lost a piece of herself. The deeper Nikia dug, the more she realized her mother's death wasn't just collateral damage. There were forces behind the scenes, moving the pieces, and Sophie was at the center of it all. She thought this was about me, about revenge. But now she knew the truth. Her quest was never just hers. And soon, we'd both face the real enemy. When she finally saw it on paper, it all made sense. The death of Vernita Green wasn't just a consequence of our fight. It was part of something bigger. And Nikia, just like me, was a pawn in someone else's game. Sophie wanted her revenge too, but not in the way Nikia imagined. She was using her, just like others had used me. But Nikia couldn't see that, yet. While Nikia was learning the truth, I was preparing for the inevitable. I knew she'd be coming back for me. And this time, there wouldn't be any mercy. But I needed to know more. Why didn't she kill me? Why was Sophie still in the game? L. Driver, the one-eyed snake who had her own score to settle with me. 
If Nikia wanted answers about my past, Elle was the perfect place to start. But Elle was more than a target. She was a threat. Elle was expecting her. That much was certain. But Nikia wasn't ready for what Elle had become. Time had only made her more dangerous. Ella wasn't going to give Nikia any easy victories. She fought with venom, with the bitterness of someone who had been left for dead. And Nikia... She was starting to understand what real revenge looked like. And there it was. The truth that would change everything. It wasn't me she should be hunting. But by the time she realized it, it would be too late. For the second time, Nikia spared a life. She thought it would bring her peace, but it didn't. Mercy wasn't in her blood yet, but she was starting to learn. Sophie wasn't the only one pulling the strings. There were others, powerful men and women who had used us both. And now, Nikia was caught in their web. But she didn't know it yet. She thought she was hunting me, but I was hunting her too. This time... There would be no hesitation. I had to stop her before she destroyed herself, or me. I've never been this close to death and left alive. Nikia. I could see it in her eyes. She wanted me dead, but something held her back. I don't know why. I don't care anymore. I have to do more than survive. I have to be ready for what's next. Not for me. For her. Paime taught me the five-point palm exploding heart technique. The deadliest thing I've ever learned. But there was always more. Things he never shared. I didn't ask him why. I heard whispers about someone who held the rest of Paime's legacy. His successor... Shenlong Wu. They said he was more than just a master of martial arts. He was a shadow. Shenlong Wu wasn't like Pai Mei. He was a ghost, a legend only whispered about. I expected him to be like Pai Mei, old, wise, sharp. But what I found was something different. His power wasn't just in his fists. It was in his mind. He didn't just want to see if I was strong... He wanted to know why I was here, what I was willing to sacrifice. He pushed, and I pushed back. Together we are exploring what was not complete individually. Pai Mei divided his ancient martial art into two halves, one for Shen Long Wu, the other for me, Beatrix Kiddo. Only by uniting these halves could the full power be realized. Our training together was meant to complete Pai Mei's teachings, making me invincible against Nikia and only way to keep my daughter safe. The last test was simple. Fight him, survive, or fail, and lose everything. As the weeks of grueling training passed, it became clear that Shen Long Wu's ambitions went beyond mere mastery. The ancient techniques Pai Mei had taught me were taking on new meaning. Shen Long's intentions were more sinister than I had ever imagined. Nikia's sudden appearance was both a shock and a relief. She brought news of Shen Long's true intentions and the hidden legacy we were about to inherit. It was revealed that Pai Mei had divided his legacy, one half for Shen Long Wu, the other for me. Only by uniting our knowledge could we unlock the full potential of Pai Mei's ancient art. With the truth laid bare, Nikia and I had to unite our skills. Shen Long Wu had been manipulating us to gather the full power of Pai Mei's legacy. We were ready to reclaim it. Shen Long Wu's lair was a labyrinth of danger. His henchmen were formidable each one a testament to his dark influence. We fought through their ranks, knowing the true battle awaited. We finally faced Chen Long Wu in his inner sanctum. His confidence was unshaken, but we were driven by the truth, 
and our shared legacy. The battle was fierce and relentless. Chen Long Wu's henchmen fought with deadly precision, and the bloodshed was intense. We were fighting not just for our lives, but for the legacy of Pai Mei. In the midst of battle, Nikia and I executed the five-point exploding heart technique. Remarkably, Nikia mirrored my movements perfectly, mastering the technique on her first attempt and delivering it with precision against Chen Long Wu. With Chen Long Wu defeated, the truth of Pai Mei's legacy was fully realized. We had overcome the darkness he had wrought. And reclaimed the true essence of the art. The battle was over, and I could finally focus on my daughter's safety. Nikia had her own journey ahead, carrying the legacy of Pai Mei with her. Our paths had diverged, but our bond remained unbreakable.